I am in a bookstore live looking for mid-century modern furniture, and yes, you heard me in a bookstore. Now, some of you may be like, yeah, there's no way you're gonna find anything mid-century in a bookstore, and that's where I argue with you. Now, other than books, this bookstore is called the Atlantage, Atlanta Vintage Bookstore, I think that's what it is, has tons of materials that aren't books. Now, the books are abundant, but let me show you what else they have. This is the bookstore, and I'm telling you, you can find mid-century modern items inside, and so let's go find them. Now, the books are abundant, but let me show you what else they have. They have vintage vinyl. They have VHS, vintage newspaper clippings and newspapers, unique one-off pieces of artwork, and yeah, artwork and prints. They have a whole assortment of life magazines, which can have some value. And last but surely not least, they have vintage advertising. Now, if you know anything about me, you know, number one, I love mid-century modern furniture. I love finding it, I love sourcing it, and I love flipping it. But two, I am a big, oh, I like this light, advertising junkie, advertisement junkie. Anything with a name that they sold in the past with vintage heritage, you can sign me up for. Now, as I sit down, I wanna give you a couple tips. Number one, when you come to vintage bookstores, look for vintage coffee table books, especially with abstract art. That's where you make your money. If you find some for five to 10 bucks, you can sell it for 25 to 30. I've done this recently. Within the last week, I sold a Dolly book, Dolly book for 25 bucks, and I paid five bucks for it. But two, if you can find vintage advertising out of like old newspaper clippings, old magazines, buy it and flip it. And what you gotta do is just buy it for two, three, five, ten bucks, put it in a nice case, frame it very nice, and sell it for 10, 20, 30, 40 bucks. You can make that profit every time. So instead of me sitting here looking in this bookstore, reading, let me show you some of the items they do have. As you see behind me, so as you can see behind me, there's tons of books. Oh, sale rack, you know I love me a sale. There's tons of books everywhere, but let me flip it around and show you where the good stuff is. Now this whole stack back here is filled with vintage advertising and I'm gonna go through it. But first, let me show you something really cool. This official guide to the New York World's Fair. This is actually first edition in 1939. 25 bucks on that. I don't know the value. I'll probably scan it and see what it's worth on eBay, but something that's a hundred years old, a hundred year old publication in this bookstore, it has to be worth at least 25 bucks. But let me take a look at this stack here and I may cut out my volume because there's a fan right next to me. So let me go to my mic volume and I'll analyze this for you. Now, as you can see here, I've hit the advertising, the car advertising mother load section. This whole pile has vintage 1940s, 1930s to 1960s advertising. You see the Nash, you see the Studebaker, you see even Michelin tires on here. And this is all, let me see if there's a price. Two bucks, two bucks on each one of these. It's amazing.
but yeah, all of those publications, those pretty much those vintage advertising for those cars, furniture, clothing, all that is valuable. And if you take those for two bucks, put them in a frame, cheap frame, five, ten dollar frame, you can sell for about 40 to 50 bucks. I've done it. It works. Sorry about that. I'm back in my car now. The actual store is closing up, so they closed on me. I hate, you know, going into the stores with the last minute. Doesn't give me quite enough time, but I made it out. But I just want to show you some of the cool items in there, some advertising pieces. I picked up some additional advertising pieces. A couple of those car signs I had to take home, especially for cheap. I'll get a cheap frame, put them in there, and sell them for like, who knows, maybe 25, 30, 40 bucks. Who knows? But if you're interested in more videos like this, where I find not necessarily publications, but more mid-century modern furniture, check this video out right here. And like always, burn.